What's going on guys? We're about to get into episode 11 of my Madden Ultimate Team series. As you can see, I'm over 200,000 coins with a 92 overall team. And so we'll get into the game. I'm playing against a 96 overall team. And one thing that I noticed about my opponent is that he took the Vikings cornerback, Antoine Winfield, and put him at safety, where he is a higher overall, but guess what? Still 85 speed, so I'm going deep with Mike Wallace. That's what I'm talking about, 41 yards. You gotta take advantage of that mismatch. That's just too easy. And so I get into his territory early in the first quarter, and now I try to run the ball because that's just what I do on offense, and Terrell Suggs puts down Barry Sanders, and now I come out third and nine. I want to attack Antoine Winfield again. I know he's really short, so I try to go up top with Jermichael Finley. He just can't hang on, so I settle for my field goal. I'll take the points on my first drive, so I'm up 3-0. And now it's my opponent's first drive on offense, and Rodgers goes back and finds Roddy White over the middle. That'll be a first down getting to the 40-yard line. And now the next play, Rodgers still out of the gun. He's going to find Reggie Wayne over the middle. That'll be a gain of nine, setting up a second and short. But he stays out of the gun, and I just come around with Julius Peppers, just shoves the blocker out of the way. Peppers gets a sack, so we're back to third and ten. Now I'm trying to get a stop, get the ball back, and add to my lead. But he finds Roddy White once again, coming across to the left side. That'll be a first down as he gets into my territory for the first time. I get him another third and long situation, and I must have messed with my hot routes too much, and I took someone off of his running back. So Barry Sanders gets an easy 23-yard gain. And then he would find himself in third and five, and I just try to play good coverage, and Peppers got around his blocker once again. He gets a second sack. And so he would add a field goal and tie this game at three. And now we'll go into my next possession on second and long. And I don't even know why I threw this pass. Looking for Mike Wallace, but Asante Samuel is there. Picks it off. That's a really big mistake. And now I find myself back on defense. He would be second and eight. Go for the play action. But my guys are just getting around his blockers too well. I pick up the sack, make it third and 18. And then he would punt the ball away. And while I was just sitting here, I'm like, why hasn't it landed yet? It felt like it was in the air for five minutes when I was playing this. I... That's just the biggest rookie mistake you can make, and I've been playing Madden for a long time, but I find myself down by seven now off of a huge mistake by me. I made two big mistakes in the first half. I'll go to the second half now, still three to ten, trying to establish that run. I don't go away from it. That's one of the things that killed me in past matches. I would go away from the run, and this the offense is not clicking. I have to punt the ball away. We're unable to get first downs, and now I find myself later in the game. First and ten, I go back on the run, and nothing is working. One yard on the play tackle by Antoine Bethea. I, I'm just persistent. I don't give up. I ran the ball more than I passed in this game, and here we go. Get a couple of blocks, and that's why I stick to the run. You just got to get a couple of blocks, and then Barry Sanders is off to the races. It's an 86-yard rushing touchdown, and now this game is tied up at 10. Now we'll go into my opponent's next drive, second and 12, end of the third quarter. He finds Roddy White. It'll be a short game. We both played tough defense this whole way through. Now on third and five, Rodgers finds his man coming across over the middle. It'll only be a gain of one, and so fourth and four, I'm able to force a stop. And now I have the opportunity to take the lead again in this game. We're in the fourth quarter, and that pass, that was just a bad decision. It's picked off by Ray Lewis, and Palmer gets blocked, and so there's no one that's going to catch him. Another big mistake. I mean, when I don't play this game for a few days, I tend to come back and make a lot of big mistakes, and so this is one of those games. But the extra point, I did get the lucky block, and so it's only 16-10. to 10. And I come out on my next drive, do the crossing route to Vincent Jackson. He gets away from a defender, shakes off of another one. It's a big 46-yard completion, and now I have the momentum in this game. We'll come out first down. I wanted to take a shot at the end zone, and I saw a mismatch I could take advantage of. Jermichael Finley going to the end zone. Antoine Winfield, they're not going to cover him. I'm just sorry. You're on my Vikings, but I had to exploit you. I know where you hurt. And so I have the one-point advantage now in second and nine, looking over the middle. That'll be a short completion, bringing up third and four. Keep playing my lockdown defense. I've only allowed three points with my defense. The other t scores have been from my mistakes. And then I force a fourth and four, but he's going to go for it now. Down by one, he gets the completion. Quick pass on the left side. Ryan Clark takes him down, but he extends the drive. And now first and 10, Rodgers dropping back, trying to find the guy on the left side, and he throws across his body, picked off, there we go, Charles Woodson, one of my three Charles Woodsons on defense, and he'll score the pick six, and I go up by eight points. 
So now my opponent needs a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Rodgers finds Barry Sanders out of the backfield. That'll be a first down, picking up over 15 yards on the play. But I'm letting him get that underneath stuff pretty easily. I just don't want him to beat me over the top. And now he looks over the middle, and one of my other Charles Woodsons is there. It's another interception. And now I just have to run out the clock. He's got all three timeouts and third and 12. And I'm like, Mason Crosby can hit it from pretty far out. I'll just run the ball out of the shotgun. And Walter Payton just breaks the tackle, goes up the middle. It's a 48-yard touchdown for Walter Payton, and that is the dagger. I go on to win this game 31-16. to I get 1,700 coins in the game. And now it's time to go buy some stuff. And I prefer the gold packs over the gold premium packs. I mean, I got Jari Evans and Roddy White in a gold pack before and now why would I switch check this out Namdi Asamoa and Matt Burke so I got a new starting cornerback and a new starting center a couple of guys can go to collections but hey I got Namdi on my team I'm stoked about that got Namdi three Charles Woodson's and a Dominique Rogers Camardi and now check this out new starting quarterback got Philip Rivers got some more guys to add to collections but I got a new starting quarterback these gold packs just love me I mean I get nothing in the gold premiums pretty much the gold packs just I get such good luck now I get Maurice Jones Drew and Joe Hayden he'll go to a collection but I got Maurice Jones Drew and I don't want to use Barry Sanders and Walter Payton for a long time I mean I want Adrian Peterson and yeah, I could buy him off the auction block, but it's more fun to get cards and packs, and so I'll send Frank Gore off to the pending collection. He'll go to the 49ers, and now I'm just like, I got too many contract cards. I got like 20 of these things. So I just started sticking a bunch on guys I know aren't going to leave this team, like Namdi and Jari Evans. We'll go buy another gold pack. Now I'm on a hot streak, but I cool off a little bit. I only get Will Smith, and I already have him, and I get Cliff Averill, Olin Krutz, and Stuart Bradley, and those guys are all collection cards, so I'll go to another gold pack. I'm just working towards the collections this way. I like this more than just buying the cards. It's more fun. Get Alex Mack, who'll go to a collection. I already got Marquise Pouncey and Matt Burke, and I already had Donald Penn, so I don't make up anything there, and I get a couple more cards. But I've just been putting all my stadiums and my coaches in the auctions for minimum price make a lot of coins that way I only play ultimate team a couple days a week now because I have so much stuff in auctions that everything else gets filled up and I don't like discarding the coaches because I can make money off of them and I might as well make Namdi's contract like a hundred because I know he ain't going anywhere but I'm like you know what we'll go big gold premium pack I get Champ Bailey and so Namdi and Champ Bailey on the outside Charles Woodson is a nickelback and now I gotta get rid of more cornerbacks as I'm starting to have too many on this team I also get Mason Foster and I watched him play against the Vikings I think the Buccaneers have a future star on their team and so Terrence Newman you're gonna go to the pending collection and probably along with Devin McCourty and so thank you guys for watching episode 11 of Ultimate Team I hope you guys are enjoying this series it's the most requested on my channel and I really love playing the Ultimate Team games and so I'll be back in episode 12 very soon. Hope I get that uploaded in a couple days so I'll see you guys in the next commentary. You guys have a great day and the Gophers are not going to beat Michigan tomorrow.